Ruckzuck. Simply powerful web design. Hi, this is Max from Ruckzuck, and I want to give you guys a quick overview over the Ruckzuck interface. So the first thing I'm going to do uh, is open up my browser, because unlike tools like Photoshop or Illustrator that I've got installed on my machine here, uh, Ruxic runs in my browser. So um, let's open up Chrome and I can type in my um, space. So mine's max-beta on uh, Ruxic.io. Yours obviously different. Uh, so I can log in with my email address and password if I remember it. Yeah, right, there we go. <laughs> and uh, that takes me to my overview or my space where I can see all the projects uh, that I've created so far in Rexic. And I can create a new one just by clicking here and I can start from a template or start from scratch, um, but I'm not gonna do that for now. Uh, so let's close this again. I can also duplicate, delete and rename the projects that I've already got and I can upload and download projects. Um, actually, I'm gonna rename this. Um, so I'm gonna right click, I'm gonna right click and fix this. All uh, right, so uh, let's open up uh, this project and just double click on it. And now uh, we are in the main Ruxic interface. This is what we're gonna be looking at most of the time uh, when we're working in Ruxic. And I think I'm just gonna go through the different elements. So. I'm gonna start up here in the top left with what we call the Ruxic menu. Uh, and this contains a ton of useful features uh, that we're gonna need for our projects, like our color scheme or our media database, because in Ruxic these things are all handled in central places like this. Uh, from the Ruxic menu, we can also add people to our project to help us with it. Uh, and from here, we can also publish our site uh, when we're done with it. Right, so let's close this. Uh, moving on, we've got our left sidebar here, and that's and it's got two sections, layouts and pages. Uh, and as you know, in Rexo, pages are always based on layouts, and you can't have a page without a layout. So uh, I've got my layouts, I've got my pages. For this site, for this particular project, I've only got one layout, but of course, you can add as many as you need. Uh, and you can also duplicate the ones that you've got and delete them or rename them. And of course, you can edit them with the bright orange button. <laughs> uh, and of course, the same goes for pages. Again, you can, whoops, you can uh, add a new one uh, or copy or delete or rename the ones that you've got. And you can also edit them again. Uh, and another thing you can do is um, drag these around. So uh, this is a drag and drop interface and you can just take stuff drop it in somewhere else. And you can also do sub pages this way. So uh, I can just take this menu page and drop it on the contact page. And now it's a sub page, right? Got the concept. Uh, so now I've got my menu inside my contact. Inside of my menu, I've got my gallery, which doesn't make sense. <laughs> so uh, let me reverse this real quick. There we go. Uh, then moving on. In the middle, as you might have noticed, we've got our big preview window. Uh, and the important thing to note here is that this is a real preview. This isn't a picture of your website. This is your actual website and it looks exactly the same. It will on the user screen or on your visitor screen. And this all works. I can click around here. I can use the navigation. I can click on things. I can do, if I hop over to the contact page, this map works, I can zoom out, I can zoom in, all the good stuff. Uh, so onto the right sidebar, uh, this is for responsive design. Uh, and I've got these buttons here, which resize my preview window to the different breakpoints. And I can also do this by hand. Um, and then this button takes me back to my default resolution. Uh, and moving on in the Bottom right corner, <laughs> we've got these two very handy buttons. <laughs> uh, this one, the little magnifying glass, opens the preview window uh, off your site. So I can look at it full screen. Again, click on things, 
do all the stuff and you could also uh, take this link and open it say in another browser to test it out. Um, so what if I wanted to test my site um, on an actual device like my phone uh, or a tablet that I might have? Well, um, I could take this link and type it in <laughs> on my phone. Uh, good luck with that. There's a better way to do that. Um, that's uh, this button down here. And what that does is create a QR code uh, that you just need to scan with your phone or your tablet and that takes you right to this preview page. And again, you can click around and test it as much as you want. So let's close this, close this, uh, and let's look at design mode. Let's open this layout. Uh, so I'm gonna double click. And now that takes me to design mode. This is where I actually work on my design, on my site. And as you can see, the right sidebar hasn't changed much. The preview area is still the same. What has changed uh, is the left sidebar. What I've got here is uh, the tree view. And this is all the modules that I've used to build up my page. So um, as you can see, um, as I click on things over here, they get highlighted in the preview area. So this image is my logo. Then I've got my navigation. Uh, I've got my image gallery. And this also works the other way around. So uh, I can click on things over here and they get highlighted. Whoops. <laughs> they get highlighted in my tree view. And again, this is a drag and drop interface. So say I wanted my navigation above my logo, I can just do that with my mouse, take it, drag it over here and drop it above the image. And there we go, the live preview updates automatically as I change things. Um, so say uh, I wanted to add a new module to my site. Um, I can just do that. Uh, down here is the list of all the modules that come with RegCheck. You can, uh, of course, develop your own ones, but these are uh, the ones that come out of the box. Uh, let's just do, uh, let's see, let's just do an image. Uh, so I take it, drag it up here to my tree view and just drop it. Boom, there it is, shows up uh, right in the live preview. Now, um, this is just a placeholder image, so uh, we need some way to choose uh, what image to display, right? Uh, and the way I'm gonna do this is select it in my tree view and then click over to the properties tab uh, up here. So I click on that and now what this uh, gives me is all the options uh, for the module that, uh, that I've selected. So in this case, it's the image module. Uh, if I click on something else like the navigation, it gives me a different set of options. And obviously each module has its own unique set of options. So I'm gonna go to my image and I can click here and this opens my media database and I can choose an image that I want. There we go. Again, live updates. Uh, there we go. Uh, when I'm done with my changes, I come down here, hit the bright orange button again <laughs> that says save, and that saves my changes, obviously. Um, that's it, really. So uh, we've got the tree view over here. We can add stuff via drag and drop, and we've got the properties that let us change uh, the settings for each module. So let's go back up a level again with the back button. <laughs> Uh, now let's look at pages. Right, uh, what if I wanted to edit a page? First thing to note, uh, each page now has this enormous um, picture at the top because I updated the layout and every page got updated automatically as I updated the layout. But for now, let's just edit this menu. So I'm gonna double click open this up and as you can see uh, I can now no longer add stuff to my structure because that's what you do in design mode in page mode or in edit mode um, you want to edit uh, your contents of your site so uh, say I wanted to, sw uh, to swap out this image 
I can just come over here, click over the properties and choose a different one like this one. Apply, boom, there it is. Uh, so that's what you wanna do in page mode. Swap out images, edit text like this. Delete this, cut that stupid. Right, and again, when I'm done, I'm come down here, hit save, and that's it. Right, and that pretty much covers the Rexic interface. Go have fun with it.